That'll get you feeling good inside. It is time for the holiday baking season, and this should be something fun, right? Not stressful. It should be, and I have three basic tips. One, things you need to buy fresh. Two, sneak in a little health. And three, cheat when you need to. Now, you say so. health. Hold on, let me let me make sure we know. This is my <laughs> um, healthy living advisor, Tina Miller. So health is always going to be part of it, but yeah, stress well, is part of health, too. Yeah, so. it is. So All right, take it away. make it easy. Before you start your holiday baking, before you just don't want to waste any time or any products, yeah. so make sure that you buy a couple things fresh one is going to be your flour okay and for our health I recommend buying our white whole wheat flour mm. that adds a little more fiber and it doesn't change doesn't make your your cookies tough and hard so that's a great one to buy um, the other thing you should buy fresh too is baking powder and baking soda if they've been in your pantry for a year or six months your cookies are years or three years, years okay. <laughs> your cookies just won't get the fluff okay. that you want them to get Got so it. that's what you should buy fresh and then of course my best friend is parchment yes. paper so line your cookie sheets with those um, other ways you can incorporate some health aspects into your cookie are using healthier fats. Okay. So things like the Smart Balance Butter for baking is a great one to do. And look for butter blend sticks that are um, like olive or canola oil and butter. So those will be healthier to use. Stick butter is great to use because it helps your cookies keep their form mm -hmm. and it gives them a great taste, but there's also a lot of saturated fat. So, so a little of the butter mixed with some of the other stuff in some of these blends are a good Exactly. And you get the flavor and you get a little bit of the health aspect to it too. And when it comes to things like sugar, you can use a sugar substitute blend like brown sugar blend it with a little Splenda oh. or in many of your recipes like my drop cookies here you can use about two-thirds the amount of sugar the recipe Ooh, calls for okay. so cut by one-third and you're still going to do fine without with even your replacing product. it with anything just without, cut it out you're saying okay exactly and of course to make it a little healthier to incorporate things like dried fruit and nuts that will be a great way to do that you do too. it over here and it's beautiful you've got dried apricots which yeah. I absolutely love and it looks and like you have them dipped in, dipped in chocolate yes right? just to get a, a chocolate baking chocolate bar or I use the uh, Wilton dark chocolate melt mm. Mm -hmm. Just dip them, put them on wax paper, and in 15 minutes they'll they'll refrigerate um, and be solid oh, they're like that. So, so you good, can, dude. aren't that they wonderful? Wonderful. So it's a great way to get some health in. Um, also, another tip too. Yeah. My cookies used to like spread my cut cookies, yeah. and what I've learned is that if you cut your like sugar cookies and your gingerbread cookies, that you can add a little flaxseed to to help health really? that up. A couple tablespoons. Okay. Okay. Cut them out, put them in a pan, put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes, and then ah, bake them. And so look tip. how nice they stay. So that's a great thing. They actually you can look do. like a star when they come out. They, they do. Right? They're not like flumped all over. Exactly. And then, you know, holiday baking gifts are great I ideas love this. too. Yes. So you can use these tins. Great cheats are to use these um, bag cookie mixes. And again, you can health it up by using a healthier butter blend and adding a couple tablespoons of flaxseed. You'll add a little fiber to it. So there's great ways mm -hmm. to do that. And, um, on the website will be our cranberry cheesecake bars, our cherry chocolate oat chip cookies, okay. uh, peanut butter thumbprints, which are always popular, and then um, you can find just about anything you want. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. WXYZ.com. It tastes wonderful. I'm going to eat this, Glenda, while I send it over to you. All right.